Hello again. If you have an Excel with huge data and you want to read, write or manipulate the data from Excel, for better performance, I would suggest use Excel as a database instead of using read range, write range or workbook and Excel integration activities. But before using Excel as a database, there are two prerequisites which we need to fulfill. The first one is installing UiPath database package from manage packages and the second one is download and install OLEDB driver from Microsoft. So let's first install UiPath database package from manage packages. Click on all packages and write database. You can see UiPath database activities. Install this one and click on save. So now your UiPath database activities got installed. Now second step is to download and install Microsoft Soft OLEDB driver 12.0. Press enter. This is the first website which is appearing. This is official website of Microsoft. From here you can click on this. Scroll down, select your language and click on download. You will see two options over here. You can go either with 32 bit or either you can go with the 64 bit. I'm downloading 32 bit and click on next. So I can download it to my desktop. Select desktop and click on save. Now it got downloaded. Double click on this to install. It is asking me, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. Let it install. Click on next. Accept the license. Next and install. Finally, it got installed on my system. Press OK. Now go to UiPath. Whenever you want your code to interact with the database, the first thing which you need to do is create a connection between your code and the database. For that, we'll go to activity panel and search for activity called connect to database. In connect to database, we need to provide two inputs. The first one is provider name and the second one is connection string. In provider name, you can write system.data.oledb. So we'll write system.data.oledb. Press OK. Now in connection string, we need to build the connection string. To build the connection string, we need to provide three parameters. The first one is provider. Second is data source. And third is extended properties. In provider, you can write Microsoft dot ACE dot OLEDB dot twelve point O. In data source, you need to provide the path of the Excel file which you want to consider as a database. So copy as path, paste it over here, remove the extra quotes. Now in extended properties, in extended properties, first thing which we will write is Excel 12.0 XML. Now second argument in third properties, which is extended property is HDR whether you want to consider first row as columns of your data table or not. So I'll say yes, I want to consider it. Now third thing is read only. Whether you want to read your Excel as a read only mode or not. So I'll say false. 
I don't want to consider my Excel or, or I don't want to read my Excel as read only mode and press OK. So we have built the connection string. So the output of this property is database connection. So I'll create a variable with control K and database connection. I'm creating this variable for my future reference while I will be interacting with this connection. Okay. Now we can click on debug file and check whether we have any issue with our connection string or provider name. We haven't got any problem. That means our connection string is fine. Now let's use this connection string and interact with our Excel as a database. For that, we'll go to activity panel again and search for data base. Now we can drag run query activity from here as we want to fetch the data. If you want to manipulate your data into your Excel file or database, you can use run command instead of run query. But right now I just want to fetch the data. So this is my database or this is my Excel file, which I'm going to consider as a database. Let's open it. OK, so from this sheet, I want to read the data for which year is 1916. So I'll go over here. We need to create a connection string over here, but we already connected to our database and the output of the connection is DB connection. So what I will do in existing connection, I'll give DB connection and press OK. Now you can provide a SQL query. So I'll write a SQL query as a string as select star from. Now you need to give the sheet name over here. So I want to read it from 19s, copy it and paste it over here. Enter a dollar sign over here. You can give a condition where year is 1916. So I want to get the data whose data is 1916 or whose year is 1916. I'll press OK. So this activity gonna give me a data table. So I'll go to the output and create a variable called input data table. This variable will have all the data whose year is 1916. Save it. Now I want to see the output of this run query into my message box. For that, I need to convert this input data table into a string or into CSV format. So I'll go to my activity panel again. I'll say output data table. I'll use this output data table activity. So output data table activity will convert my data table into a string. So or it will convert my data table into a CSV format, which I can print into my message box further. So I'll say control K STR data table. I'm storing my string data table into str data table. Now I'll go to my activity panel again and drag the message box. Write it over here str data table. Once you are done with all the task, what you can do at the end is disconnect the connection and drag it over here now in connection database connection give your existing connection which you want to disconnect we'll close the excel file and we can again click on debug file and run our bot Now you can see in your message box, it got me the data which has year 1916. Press OK and it got disconnected. Thank you for joining the session. We'll see you in the next session. Bye-bye.